Hello everyone, welcome to Journey into Hopefulness. I was getting ready to go outside to do this video. However, it looks like she's calmed down a little bit. But Mother Nature was being very windy today and my neighbors decided to cut the grass. So, decided to bring the video inside where it's just a bit quieter. Now, the original intention for this video today, since it is a Mother's Day video, was to be outside with Mother Nature, having satsang, just mother to mother. Now, satsang is a Sanskrit word that means gathering together in truth or being in truth. And for me, Mother Nature is the ultimate mother, the ultimate teacher. Have you ever heard the quote by Albert Einstein that goes, and I'm going to read this to make sure I get it right. He said, look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Well, for me, that has proven true time after time after time. And it is through Mother Nature that I have learned the truth of who I am. Now, before I talk about the truths that I have found, I want to look at two labels that I have given myself. The first being mother. I am a woman with a relationship to a child. In 2000, I gave birth to Anna. Therefore, I have a biological relationship to her. And for the first 12 years of her life, along with her father, I cared for her and raised her. And then in 2012, I gave myself a second label, that of alienated mother. I became a woman with a relationship to a child, and I lost the affection and interest of that child. And from 2012 until this present day, that remains true. However, Mother Nature has taught me that that is true of my circumstances. Alienated Mother only describes what has happened to me. So, what are the truths that I have learned from Mother Nature? Well, I've learned that, like her, I am nurturing. Just as she provides everything needed for the plants and the animals and wildlife, to thrive, I provided everything that Anna needed her first 12 years of life. But my nurturing desire didn't just go away when Anna left. I still have a need, a desire, and a potential to care for others. And I regularly unleash that potential on any child that comes into my life really any person that comes into my life. And over the past 18 months, this has come to include two bonus grandkids, Ripley and Judah. And the reason I can still allow my caring nature to come out is that, like Mother Nature, I am also resilient. Now, just as she can regrow and flourish after a devastation, I have allowed my caring nature to regrow and flourish after the loss of Anna. Now, the loss of Anna from my life over the past nine years has probably been the biggest loss in my life. However, it's not the only loss in my life, and it won't be the last loss of my life. And so it has been very important to me to regain my strength in preparation for any loss that occurs in the future because that's just a part of life. It is part of the natural cycle of life. We gain and we lose. Now, Mother Nature is also fierce and often she shows this almost duality that doesn't make sense sometimes. I mean, her power can be so destructive and yet, at the same time, that power provides purpose. So, let's take the sun, for example. 
The sun's rays are so strong that it can actually scorch and kill the very plants that it feeds. And I have seen within the fierce love that I have for Anna, a destruction of our relationship. And part of that is because I fed my love to her incorrectly and quite often selfishly during those first several years of being alienated when I was uneducated. But it's that same powerful love that I have for her that's going to bring her back into my life and feed our new relationship. And that brings me to the fourth truth, to the beauty that Mother Nature displays each and every day, even in the chaos. And I'm not necessarily talking about physical beauty. I mean, Mother Nature has produced some beautiful specimen. But have you seen the blobfish? And have you smelled the corpse flower? Hmm, yeah. Now, I am referring to the beauty of the miracles that I experience through Mother, ne Mother Nature each and every day. Spring is a great miracle. The trees that, to me, appear to die in the fall suddenly come back to life in the spring. I mean, they, they didn't really die. They just sort of went through a hibernation, took a break. And I have started seeing my relationship with Anna over the past nine years as just a long extended fall. And the beauty of spring for us, it's coming real soon. Now, tomorrow is Mother's Day. It has the potential to be a very difficult day to experience, especially if I allow myself to identify with those labels, alienated mother. So I have had to choose to change the way that I celebrate Mother's Day. Instead of expecting Anna's presence and being disappointed, I now celebrate the presence of what is inherent to me, those qualities and characteristics. And I invite you to join me in the celebration. Let's celebrate our nurturing abilities we can still care for and encourage someone. Let's celebrate our resilience. We have a right to live a fulfilling life. Let's celebrate our fierceness because no one, absolutely no one, will ever love our child as passionately as we do. And let's celebrate our beauty for it was us who created that miracle that we call our child. And let's celebrate us for the truth of who we are. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Make it your best day yet. <laughs>